color. Zeke is Monet and Dante, AKA Mecca Sun. And we got Ghost Hunting Tariq from the grave. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Celebrity Mixer. Your host Alexis Renee here. For my newbies, please hit that post notification button so you can stay up to date for when I drop my next video. Now today's episode is all about the top shocking moments of Ghost Season 2, Episode 5. Okay baby, so let's talk about it because the show is on a three week break returning January 9th. Ooh, it's gonna seem like an eternity waiting for it to come back on. So the episode started off with Zeke getting ready to turn himself in to the police, but they were no longer interested because they had found Ramirez's body. They figured the book that Professor Jabari was writing about would give some clues into his murder. So Mecca guys had met with Monet and he really wanted her. I mean, he was buying her all kind of gifts and doing all kind of stuff, including setting up trust funds for all her kids, including Zeke. But Monet was like, look, mm -mm, not right now. I got too much on my mind for this. Now, Monet had a bone to pick with Tariq and Kane. So Monet winds up catching up to Tariq, snatching him up, threatening him with a gun to find out who Kane's plug was. She kicked him out of her car, and you know Tariq's feet gets him around the city, baby. <laughs> now we got Monet who finally catches up with Kane, and she's like, listen here, I need some dirt on Tariq so I can control him. The cops went to Carrie for her help, asking her to read Jabari's book for any clues regarding his murder, and baby, when she did, her woman's intuition, it went off. Now she's suspicious about Tariq because in the classroom, she changed all the lessons to be about karma. And ladies, if we don't know nothing else, okay? We know about being suspicious and some karma, all right? Zeke then changed his hair color to blind, y'all. Did y'all see that? You know what they say though. Blinds have more fun. Mm -hmm. And he almost caught Drew with his boyfriend, Everett. After that, the police needed Lauren to wear a live wire to see if she could get some dirt on Brayden. By now, old rich broke Tariq needed some more money to get a place for Yasmin's custody hearing. So what did he do? He asked Diana to help get him a re-up from Kane without Monet knowing. She did it under one condition, that he get some dirt on her brother. So they both wind up figuring out that Kane swapped the coke with some powdered sugar. Instead of Tariq meeting Kane, he sent Brayden smart man. Now this allows Tariq to follow Kane. Tariq finally had a car y'all because I thought for a minute he was going to be jogging alongside Kane's car or something because you know he always popping up somewhere and don't be in a vehicle. Good job for getting the car this time. Kane goes back to Mecca place and Tariq gets caught and Mecca's goon beat the shit out of him. And when they show Tariq's face on the security cameras, Kane lied and said he didn't know him. Kane was confronted by Nuff, you know, the one we call Lagoon, in front of Mecca, and Kane lied again. So Mecca signaled to the chef, and that ninja sliced Nuff's throat. Kane took Tariq's phone back to Monet so she could snoop inside, but then they wind up getting into it about how she keeps choosing Tariq over him. Y'all know Red Man is on the show, right? And so I'm assuming he must have went to jail trying to protect Davis. But we'll see what that's about soon because Davis is now trying to get Red Man out of prison. When Tariq was supposed to meet Lauren at the new apartment, he winds up showing up too late. So the broker was gone, she was mad. And so Lauren like, damn, what I'm gonna do to help him out? So what she do? Like most ladies boss up, she surprised him with her brother's apartment while he in rehab. So while this is going on, Lauren asked Tariq questions about Brayden and Tariq told her Brayden wasn't a part of Jabari's book. The cop took that as evidence to raid his dorm room. Tariq was about to go to court and Monet grabs him right in front of the court. She was gonna make him miss the appearance as payback for getting Zeke involved. He got out that jam by telling her all the tea. He told that Cain swapped the coke with powder sugar, Drew was still having sex with the boy who leaked Zeke's name to the police, and Diana stole her money out the safe. What the hell is going on with these trifling kids, y'all? Child, she was just gonna let him go because obviously she still need her little friend of me. But when he got back to the school, the police was everywhere. And they didn't arrest Tyreek ass for Jabari and Ramirez's murder. God damn. The trust fund lawyer came to drop a letter to Tariq in case he was arrested for murder. The letter was from Ghost and it said, I quote, I knew you end up here, little right where you belong. The irony, right? Ghost was hunting him from his grave. Monet met with Mecca again and gave into his request to meet Zeke and baby, they was tongue and down. It's hot and steamy, okay? When Monet got home to tell her kids about themselves, she finds out her husband Lorenzo done got out of prison. Child, it is too much drama going on here. The cycle is repeating itself because Tariq is in jail just like Ghost was, but do you guys think he's gonna get out? Monet is stuck between two powerful fine men and hiding the fact that her nephew 
is really her son. Also, Tommy's show premieres on the same day as this show's finale. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think about all the messy stuff going on here. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy our top shocking moments of Go Season 2, Episode 5. Now, to stay up to date before recaps like this one, you can always go to CelebrityMixer.com. That's Mixer with the Y. Of course, I would love if you would like, comment, and subscribe to this video. It's your girl, Alexis Renee, and guess what? You've just been mixed in.